We will now begin recording the interview with Fran Wright. The recording takes place on January 19th, 2017 at Snap Cymru's Cardiff head office. The volunteers present are Rob Boddy and Lara Toffer, and this recording is being collected as an oral history and will be part of the Chronicle Project, a project led by VCS Cymru and funded by the Heritage Lottery Fund. Fran, would you start off by introducing yourself? Yeah, my name's Fran. Um, I live in Penarth near Cardiff. And um, I have lived in Cardiff for ooh, since 1999. Um, I previously lived in Watford. And so you're a volunteer at SNAP? Um, I'm a family and young persons officer, but I was originally a volunteer when I first started here. So. And when was that? Um, back in May this year, uh, last year actually, so only just recently. And what got you going with volunteering with SNAP? And what did um, you do? I've done voluntary work in other areas as well um, and um, I still do actually do some volunteer work um, but I um, had been looking for a career change and I'd actually applied for a post um, and um, was unsuccessful but the organisation interested me so much in working for them I decided to come and do some voluntary work and then actually a position opened up and uh, I applied for the post and got it. And when you were volunteering, what kind of roles and responsibilities did you fulfil? Um, here, um, all, an awful lot of the things that I kind of do now in, in my so administrative duties, um, also attending meetings with parents um, and um, also sort of updating the database and uh, keeping on top of you know, anything that needed doing in the office really. And also um, lots of sort of things for the family and young persons officers that were working here, um, you know, to, to, to take a bit of pressure off their caseload. So, for example, making telephone calls on their behalf and um, tracing information and sending information out to parents. Um, what other groups have you been a volunteer with? In um, I'm a school governor, so um, so that's a voluntary role and have been for about five years now um, and um, I also worked for an organisation um, called, uh, well a, 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 a sort of group called Face to Face which is part of SCOPE um, and that was supporting parents independently um, as a befriender um, of children who had just been diagnosed with a disability um, so, so that was also a voluntary role as well. And what motivated you to start volunteering, either with SNAP or the other organisations? I think um, really just I enjoy meeting people and, and I have a particular area in the, you know, quite a particular interest in the area of special educational needs um, and also children with disabilities. I'm a parent of a child with a disability myself, so, um, so once I'd kind of been through the initial difficulties, I felt I had quite a lot to offer back to parents in terms of an empathy and understanding of what needs, uh, you know, what, how they were feeling um, when they were initially faced with a new diagnosis. Um, and, you know, very much an understanding in this role of, of, and in my volunteer role here as to how um, I could support parents because I had an empathy and understanding of what they'd been through, having been through it previously myself. Do you think that your volunteer work has changed you as a person? Um, I think I make a lot more time for people day to day. Um, so um, if I am out and about um, and perhaps I might run into somebody, um, I, I generally give them a lot more of my time. I, I, I would never kind of open the door and, and say, oh, not today, and sort of, you know, or if I'm approached by someone who is working for a charity or or um, you know, is handing out information or trying to stop you to get your time. I will never kind of just dismiss them. I will always sort of stop, respond briefly, and if I haven't got time, you know, be polite. But you know, um, you know, I think I maybe wasn't quite as tolerant, um, in well years ago now. But I, you know, maybe wasn't quite as good as being tolerant of the people who were doing that kind of work. So because it can, it can sometimes be difficult, can't it, when people approach you in the street and you're busy and, and doing things. So I, I very much sort of feel like always give people space and time now and yeah. Do you think that volunteering helps you get to know the community of Cardiff better? Um, definitely in, in, in this role, very much so, you know, you're working and meeting people all the time 
um, and and with lots of different organisations and and um, agencies as well as as parents and families. So you know, generally across across the board, um, you do. I, I certainly in my last sort of volunteer role with Scope, um, I was working as a befriender, a volunteer befriender, and I was actually able to keep. Um, um, there was not a requirement for me to kind of. Uh, cut the friendship off. So once the befriending period had finished, I was able to remain friends with that person on a more personal level, um, with their agreement. You know, so it, that was quite a nice way of developing. Could you tell me a little bit more about Scope and the, what kind of organisation it was? Um, Scope is a charity that um, supports um, people with disabilities. Really, um, the uh, the primary sort of area is if those for people who have cerebral palsy. Um, and although I know they've widened their remit since, um, and my own child has cerebral palsy, which is what attracted me to them initially, um, and um, you know they're a very they're a UK wide organisation, but they're active very much here in Wales. So, have you encountered any frustrations or disappointments during your volunteer work? Um, actually, I think the only frustration is um, wanting to give more time but not being able to. Um, so, so, you know, I've really enjoyed my volunteer roles, but sometimes, you know, I've obviously had to go and earn money as well. So actually having to, the time to give is, is really lovely, but wanting to actually spend a bit more time on something but just simply not having the, the, the ability to do it, um, you know, is frustrating. But generally, no, you know. Do you think in thinking large scale, could you provide a definition of volunteering and what it means to you? I think for me, volunteering feels a bit like you're giving something back and, and giving, share, it, it, it's quite a personal thing in the role that if you volunteer for something, because I think people volunteer for things that are close to them in some way and I think for me the volunteering has always been linked to kind of education, disability, special educational needs which are very close to, to me and I'm quite an open person so I like to share experiences and um, you know I'm quite a, able to sort of talk so I think for me it's a satisfaction to feel that I can reassure people and, and uh, you know um, make them feel positive about the uh, you know the experiences they're going through and look look to, you know, that there are positives and, and, you know, moving forward. So that's very much, I've always been a very uh, volunteer and I've always wanted to be working with people and, and that kind of thing. So. Do you think you've ever inspired anybody to become a volunteer themselves? Um, I think my daughter has started to talk about things like volunteering, so she's aware that I do and have done, you know, sort of voluntary roles in the past. So she's sort of talked about, you know, oh, I quite like to do this and, and things. So, so yeah, possibly in, in, within my own uh, family, yes. So. so would you be able to offer any advice or words of inspiration <coughs> to somebody who might want to volunteer but perhaps is apprehensive about it? I think you just have to go for it, don't you? You know, look, look at what volunteering roles interest you. There's, there's agencies now you can contact and look through all sorts of volunteering roles, aren't there? I think there's the Welsh Council for Voluntary Services and, and things like that. So, you know, go. they run open days and things like that. Go and see what there is and if anything, you know, interests you, really. Um, I think it gives you some valuable skills that you can use. I mean, certainly for me, I moved here and gained really valuable skills that made... It possible for me to transition into this role, um, whereas previously I wouldn't have been able to get a job um, in this area because I had I didn't have certain skills that were required. But I built on those during volunteering, and they gave me they earned a sort of another dimension to my CV which I hadn't got. So yeah, so it was good for me. What do you think volunteering adds to an organisation like SNAP or organisations in general? Uh, it's everything, the volunteers are absolutely everything here because without volunteers um, we would really um, struggle to, to run as an organisation. They're really crucial and um, they, they are immensely helpful in, in just day to day sort of support for us in, in our caseloads really and the work that we do. Um, you know, so uh, and it's just really nice to have 
different people in and out of the office and they bring different skills and experiences to the role which you know we we really value actually and they can often be a source of information and uh, you know so so as, as volunteers they really are quite crucial in in, in, a, in, a, in an organization like this so and do you think that volunteering can add something to society or community so not just organization a small scale but in the larger scale definitely I think you know today we we've changed so much as a society and, and everyone lives their life very much um, I think people are much more interested in now when people live their life online and things like that and um, you know I, I think it brings communities together and makes people talk to each other you know and, and builds on that sort of sense of community I think that's really important so. Is there anything you'd like to add that we haven't spoken about? No, that's fine. Okay. All right. Thank you for your okay. time. That's okay.